Hey, I'm Ron Drotos from KeyboardImprov.com, and this is number 10 in my uh, journey through the real book. If you don't have a real book, go get it. Got over 450 great jazz tunes in it, and I'm posting a new video every Friday. I'm going through the book in order, and I'm on number 10, all of me. And uh, by the way, if I go through it in order, that will take me over nine years, but I'm determined to do it. It's a good project for me and to inspire you. And uh, All of Me is one of those top five jam session tunes, so you know, definitely learn it if you don't know it yet. And if you do know it, you know what I'm talking about, because you've played it a lot. And there's so many different great approaches to the tune, all the way from stride piano, like Teddy Wilson would play. And uh, you know, all the way through Lee Konitz and Lenny Tristano, who would improvise over the bar line. So you could almost barely recognize the tune. You know, they're playing... And if you don't really know the chords, uh, you can't even hear where the, the bar lines are because they're phrasing over the bar lines to intentionally disguise the form. Uh, so there's a whole lot of approaches on this tune. And what I do is I just, I've played them all and I've studied them all and I've known the tune for so long. I just forget it all and just see what comes out. It's a little fresh either time. So uh, let's uh, take this journey today through all of me together and just see where it takes me.
tune. I played something differently at the end. I didn't play with an A there. I played an A flat with a D half diminished chord under it. And that's because that's the way the tune was originally written. The composer wrote it like that. It has a little minor feel at the end. And uh, nobody plays it like that. In the real book they have the, uh, the A natural. Um, so you can't really just play that chord if you're at a jam session because the melody note that the uh, whoever's playing the melody uh, will clash with that. But if, if you know the tune, it's kind of fun to do that. Solo piano brings me back to the roots of the tune. It's a little different flavor. And for the listener, it's like, oh, a little something different at the end. What is that? Okay, it's got a little, little different uh, sound, right? That just lets us key into it as listeners. It's really important when you're playing, uh, especially solo piano, to occasionally do something that just brings the listener in in a little different way. So if people know the tune, you know, they hear me playing do, 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 do. They might not even know that something's different, but something's interesting right there. And that's something that um, uh, I think it's, uh, it just helps. It helps keep people engaged and, and you as a performer too. It keeps you interested in the tune. So have fun with all of me. I hope this inspires you to learn it. Next week I will be going to number 11, which is All of You by Cole Porter. If you're interested in step-by-step -step jazz instruction with piano improvisation, check me out at keyboardimprov.com. I've got a whole series of video courses with everything from jazz harmony, intro to jazz, um, jazz ballads, to get you playing um, uh, the basics, the chords, the rhythms, but more importantly, to start applying them to tunes and to get you over that learning curve that jazz has. Because so many of you email me or um, become my students who uh, have been trying for years and you just, it, it, it just, it doesn't have to be a struggle all the time. Just, you just need some, someone to help you um, get over that initial stage of like, okay, okay, I can do this, okay, let my fingers move and then I can play it over these chords and, um, with this play along or you know whatever it is to get you over that that learning curve so that you can actually play tunes sort of apply in this real book what you know to real book tunes and to actually start really having fun with it so it's not a struggle at every step of the way that's one of my main goals as a teacher and then if you're at the intermediate or early advanced level to show you specific techniques to help you express what you want to do um, uh, more effectively and more individually with jazz so have fun with this, and I'm uh, glad you're following me with my uh, journey through the real book. I hope it's your journey as well, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>